on the release of ta -da -da, of SL 2018. So let me wrap up real quick where we are with the next release of SL. Well, the big announcement here that you're getting today is that the schedule release for SL 2018 will be the first half of the calendar year 2018. So that means uh, not this year, so not in the next couple of months, but over the next six to eight months before the end of the, sec the first half of 2018, we will have a version of SL 2018 release. So you will upgrade and get on the latest and greatest version of SL 2018. Now, the thing that to me that's just as exciting is the fact that we're also announcing that we're changing our release cycle for SL 2018, the rich client. Starting with SL 2018, we've moved to something called the Agile methodology, which is what we use to generate and come up with our frequent releases of web apps. So we are going to be releasing on a quarterly release cycle. What does that mean? This means that when the original SL 2018 comes out, and I'm about to tell you about some of the features that will be in there, if let's say we decide to release it, I'm just gonna make up a date, do not hold me. Let's say I release it March 1st or April 1st, and I released web, uh, Dynamics SL 2018. If there's a feature that didn't make it into SL 2018 and I want it to be there, well then, then we can release it with the next quarter release, which is completely different. And this is the reason why I push for it is because the things that I wanna change and continue and enhance in SL 2018, if that happened, the release of SL wouldn't happen for another year or so because Jeff wants more. I, I, I love my partner, my partners and my customers and I want them to have as much as I can get in there. This is answering my prayers because I've seen so much success with the release of web apps and being able to get things in quicker and not having to wait for the next major release. So we are focusing on getting all the major changes to the core product done first and then we can start adding the features that Jeff wants and let's what Jeff wants really is what customers wants. So what the customers want after that time. So that's a big change, but something that we're really excited about. So let's talk about those high levels. Uh, I'm gonna skip this one just because you really wanna know what are the details around these. So let's go ahead and jump to right to the details of what's being released. So the first thing on the very right hand side, we just talked about that. We spent a lot of time making sure that SL can get, a, get connected to Power Apps, Power BI, uh, power and to flow in all those areas and we are continuing to do that you've seen the early fruits of that right now and we'll continue to build off of that so that's huge because I mean that's those are the things that are going to change the way that you do business um, and that's where we see a lot of value add being added because we're part of the Microsoft world now other areas one of the things that you can do in flow that we really like is that you can actually do some approvals so let me take this over to here is we're going to be adding an approval process to some of the key areas in Dynamics SL. So initially, we're gonna be adding the tables that support the approval process. And we're looking right now, don't hold me do this, but we're looking to use things like Flow where you get automatic email notifications where inside of the email, you can click on approve and take action and move forward. So we're looking to add some key new approval process inside of Dynamics SL. Now, as far as web apps, that's gonna continue to go forward. There are gonna be some new things that are only available in 2018, but those are available as well. On the left-hand side, we're gonna to continue to enhance uh, the query and preview feature. If you are an SL 2015 user, you're familiar with the idea of being able to look at an invoice and look at the preview. We're rolling that out across a lot of the different modules of SL, so you can take advantage of that and continue to enhance those query areas. Under the opti optimizing financials, uh, one of the areas that I've focused a lot here is taking a look at the current features and the current functionality that we've had for years and some of the processes that take three, four, five steps to do and simplifying them. So I can't go into too many details because I, I'm still discussing with them which ones we're gonna get in, but there's some definitely some things around general ledger that make it, it'll make it easier, payables, things that we have to do that I wanna make quicker and if we're gonna keep them, I wanna make it so I don't have to take so many steps to get things done. So. I know I'm a little light on that in my description is just because I know we're, we're working at some items right now. Under the project side, making the ability to produce invoices quicker. Uh, some of the areas that we're doing is automatically taking the invoices and putting them out to a file so you don't have to sit there and click OK or yes or export to this to make that process quicker, but also to be able to take those reports and then, let's say I need to 
send a preliminary invoice out for someone to review that we could do something like sh putting it up on a SharePoint site so someone could review it, take action and move forward. So lots of items there. And again, the nice thing about it is that I finally have what I want. Jeff wants to be able to continually add things to SL. I've got that in web apps. Now we're gonna get that in 2018. So when 2018 releases, if you see some things that are not in there on the first day, don't worry, Jeff's gonna get them in there going forward. And I apologize, I'm looking at the time, I'm having too much fun talking. So I'm going to stop. If you have any questions on that, I'm gonna turn it over to Val right now. So Val can go ahead and present on her stuff. But if you have any questions, go ahead and put those into the question area and I will, we will address them when we get done. 